Welcome to the second half of this Leaf Life show called Fishing and Cannabis. In just a moment, we'll have some fun discussing Fishing High, and we'll spin Stasser's wheel to see what products Nick Saba, the Regional Vice President of Sales for Smokey's Edibles, and he also owns a tackle brand called High Class Tackle Company. This show's Greg the Guinea Pig is going to be trying next. But first, it's time for Where in the World? Y ahora es hora de las noticias de cannabis. Se cae de una taima news. Me no va a estar cannabis. It's time for cannabis news from around the world. Reporting from the Leaf Life desk is the wonderful Mary J. White. Thank you, you know, you would have been a fucking great news anchor, by the way, yeah. Mary. Yeah, you would have. Well, really? I, I did some news on the radio. Oh, yeah. You know, but um, and I did some TV, but I was never. They went, no, you're too, you're too obnoxious for news. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, that's pretty well, much what they say. I think it's all about what you report, Mary, and you couldn't, oh. have, you wouldn't have been able to report these types of stories. No. It would have been fires and car accidents, and, fear and arrests, icky stuff, and yeah. bullshit. No poop. You know, yeah. I got no my degree gross. in broadcast yeah. journalism, mm -hmm. and it's, once I graduated from San Diego State, I was like, I'm not going into that field, right? Because I don't want to fucking spend the rest of my life reporting bullshit. Well, plus and you got sensational. Look News. Yeah, right. And then all hair's all tight and wear a suit and a goddamn bra. And, and you shit. have to pretend to be a fucking puppet the whole yeah, time. That's no good, man. Okay, so I gotta tell you some bad stuff's going down in this place, okay? Police recently at this place seized materials that were supposed to be used to make one billion, that's B with a billion, billion with a B, ecstasy pills. Oh. Yes. That sounds Eight. great. Uh, I know. But <laughs> officers... Wait, wait, there's like 8 billion people now. You get, you cancel out the kids and the old people. Yes. Yeah, uh, we could all, all be, the middle-aged people we'll on Earth can take a hit of ecstasy. I know. Everyone would Imagine be Imagine a happy. great big party. God, and, and politics would improve. Yeah, anyway. For about three or four hours, and then everybody's and then depressed and <laughs> serotonin <laughs> deprived. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just a <laughs> downhill spiral. Totally. There is that. Okay, so officers came across 100 canisters of hydrogen, 15 tons of caustic soda, and 3,000 liters of other chemicals. I'm, I'm writing this down. Yeah, yeah. Like, is that all you <laughs> need? Parked truck. <laughs> now they're saying this truck and trailer was used as a storage facility, and they were going to be taking it to the laboratory. This was in this teeny tiny place. It's a Dutch province of Zeeland. And Zeeland, this little town is Reland. Reland. Anyway, they got really, really, really busted. Oh. Where is it? Zeeland sounds like it might not be on this planet. Where no. is it? Yeah. <laughs> in Deutschland. Oh, no, it's no, in Germany. The Netherlands. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so the Dutch province That's of Dutch Zeeland. Land. Yeah. yeah. Well, well anyway, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> so they didn't make a billion ecstasy pills, but they were gonna. Boo. Dang. Yeah. Boo, so police. Go. I know. Thank you for that, Mary. You're welcome. <laughs> now we know what's going on in Deutschland. Uh, NFL football games and lots of E. -bombs. Lots of E. Well, All right, Sasha. Right. Spin that wheel <laughs> and let's see what you're going to be hitting next as the pinch hitter. I know. The cookies and cream again. Yeah, is this the loud rosin Just or the loud resin? The loud resin. Could you oh. explain the difference for people that sure. might not know? Yep. Look. Oh. Rosin is made. Oh, you're gonna have to do it again. From squishing the trichomes of the plant okay. and just using heat and pressure. Okay. And re live resin, or oh, their the... version, loud resin, is uh, fresh frozen, cold extracted nice. concentrates. But okay. it uses hydrocarbon. Oh, so this so one is kind of it's a BHO. Yeah. So this one is... of them is made without solvent. One of them is made with solvent. And which one is made with the solvent? The, this one. This resin. That one. The that one that looks like gooey. Red. Gooey. Loud resin. Yeah. Wow. From Refine. This and is cool. Smokies puts live resin yes. in their edibles. Loud resin oh. is a trademark term of Refine. Yep. Oh, I want to try some of them edibles right now. Oh, oh I well. think there's some in the lobby. Area. <gasps> I like you. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> Stash hitting the Puffco proxy. Get some, Stash. You know, Stash is such a team player, isn't she? She uh, lies on the barbed wire for the whole I know, podcast. It's beautiful. What, what a really? job. I know. I know. What a job. She's a, she's a team player, man. Yeah, I take the hits. <laughs> <laughs> she's a linebacker. That's right, man. All right, man. How, how is it? It's amazing. It it's smells. very loud. It's so loud. Yeah. Loud. Good job. Well, loud is a term in cannabis <laughs> for smell. 
Right. If it's loud, it's pungent. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Ooh. big ups to Both Refine. Both of them. So fucking tasty. For recognizing Thanks, Refine. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. And fish like that loud stuff, too. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they can smell. Do they, fish they like smell. to get high? Because this segment is called Fishing High. Oh, wait. Not wait, high, fish no. high, but fishing what? high. Yeah, so, you know, for me personally, <laughs> that's the only way I can fish, man. Yeah. Uh, most people like to have drinks yes. on a boat, which is highly dangerous, yeah, in my kidding. opinion. I, I grew up doing a lot of boating and yeah. such, and uh, it's a big no-no in Florida where I was raised. Absolutely. Uh, but smoking weed, I don't think it's nearly as... Uh, imbalancing yeah right depending alcohol. on who you are again you know i do know uh all of these guides out there that are on the river guiding people uh they're all randomly drug tested so oh people okay. operating boats uh not so much fishing high yeah uh, officially clients yeah. on the boats however now that is up to your guide's preference uh and, oh, cool. and and most guides you know depending on what you guys are into aren't aren't going to be uh too upset with you lighting up a doobie or whatnot. Well, I would think that someone fishing high is going to have that extra sensory feel. You the know, juju. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can hear the, the fish. Yeah. With right. the fish, they can they can the, the the fish are attracted to their positive energy. You yes. can ease more they're easily. Zoned in, yeah, you know, bro. they're not going to miss that. Yeah, so, so what down? about putting an edible on the end of the hook? I've never, I've never no. tried that, but you know what? I can't believe that. It's really? a waste of an edible. I've never tried it? I've never put an edible on the end of my hook, no. I mean, it, it's a waste of the edible, but... The hell it is. You know what? Like 20 pound there salmon. are so many uh, edibles with such bright colors and stuff yeah. now that, hey, I mean, it doesn't really look that much different from a piece of power bait. So, you know, maybe well, there's something to try right, next Just summer. do like an infused power bait. Yeah. yeah. Well, the but, fish is going to be happy when it gets pulled in. And Absolutely. He might, uh, you know, calm down, not fight so much exactly. on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Dose Dose the fight. The Innovative fight. products here. Well, they do have an endocannabinoid system, right? Do fish? Oh, fish? Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Every oh. complex animal. She's got more news than uh, just I overseas stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I read books, <laughs> you know, once in a while. It's fun. Well, I learned something today. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, all complex animals. Oh, wow. So what if terpenes are the secret to catching fish? <gasps> oh, oh, my God, dude. We just figured I mean, it out. Never know. They you like don't know. they you might never like know. more than just like the smell of shrimp and other bait yeah. fish and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or some... maybe a little of both. Absolutely. Ooh. You know. Absolutely. The power bait guy, the guy who invented power bait, yeah. said he like was visited by what he thought was an angel. Oh really? And yeah, okay. he was fishing one day at a little lake and some stranger came up to him and said, Hey, I catch a lot of fish with this. Yeah. And gave him power bait and said, This is how I make it. Wow. And a dough. literally, dough. yeah, and a, and a guy out of his garage started. That's how power bait got started. And what, yeah. what is like, power yeah, bait? It's pa- yeah, power bait's just like a. It's almost like a dough or a putty bait that you oh, kind of just scoop too. out of a jar. It's got a scent oh, to it and a color okay. to it. Glitter oh, colors. Roll it into a ball, put it on your hook, and then it kind of it's buoyant, so it floats in the water. Wow. Yeah, it's primarily used for like trout fishing and stuff like that. This but I good. I would say it's like a, hands down like if you're a beginner and trying mm-hmm. to get into maybe catching some fish or getting your kids to catch some fish. Yeah. It is like the one thing you need to have in your tackle box. Wow. Yeah. The things yeah. I learn on this podcast. Yeah, we're all learning today. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, you might not have been visited by an angel. No, I was not. <laughs> but you do have your wife working with you yes. in like f- almost full time now? Uh, like I it's mean, family business? We, we were definitely very, very busy. Uh, this was our first year. We did a hard launch this last spring, so we were we stayed busy through the summer. Um, obviously, as salmon are, they don't run all year long. So there's there's a, a really big uh, season where people are buying a lot of tackle and things like that. And then in the winter time, it kind of switches over to like steelhead fishing and stuff like that. We don't have too many products geared towards that type of fishing yet. Um, we are in the process of getting a new soft plastic line going, um, jigs, things like that. It's just a slow roll. We've for for fishing for different types of fish. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So your dream is Absolutely. to go beyond yeah. just salmon tackle. Yeah, my dream tackle. is to do a ton of different tackle and offer, you know, uh, things for all sorts of different types of fishing. And so. I think that's what's great is everyone lives near a lake or a pond. Absolutely. Or a river or, if you're lucky, an ocean. Toilet. Mm-hmm. Here in the Pacific Northwest, <laughs> wrong kind of fishing. <laughs> fishing for your phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, everyone lives near somewhere where there's fish. Yes. 
And during the pandemic, uh, the amount of people buying fishing licenses like mm-hmm. tripled. Yeah. Oh. Because it's well, outdoors. Yeah. You can socially distance. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. And uh, and what I love about it is that it requires patience. Yeah. And that's where the weed really helps. Yeah. Because if you have to stand in the same place or sit in the same place or do the same motion over and over, mm-hmm. like if you're not high, it, it might <laughs> yeah. be like, why am I doing, <laughs> doing this? Yeah. I might be getting a little bit more frustrated a little bit faster. Yeah. 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 But if you get high and then, you know, teaching the kids, like that can be frustrating, but yeah. you eat a Smokey's edible and then not so all bad. of a sudden you're working with the kids. And <laughs> I love it when you see a kid catch a fish because they're patient and yeah. patient. Oh yeah. And kids are not patient naturally. Right. Right. And you get them to hold still and then they finally, they catch it and they reel it in oh, and so they hold it up. And even if they don't want to eat it, yeah. And if you're letting it go, it's such a special moment. Yeah. Well, it's a connection yeah. with an animal outside of their normal periphery, right? Yeah. yeah. It's almost like finding a pot of gold. Yeah. Or, you know, if you're a gold miner, finding that nugget deep in the earth, it's a feeling of accomplishment, I think. And of course, you're feeding yourself. Yeah. And dating back to the Bible, you know, when we talk about you know, teach a, a person to fish, uh, like John the Baptist, or who I, mean, I'm, I never, never, have never read the Bible, but I know that fishing you're forgiven <laughs> was a, a huge part of sustenance. Uh, you know, before processed food, and for that matter, commercial fishing. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, and it does. It feels so much better knowing that. Hey, we got this. This was this was yeah. this was something that we harvested. Mm-hmm. And not only that, being able to share that with the rest of your family. Not everybody has a, a boat or can get out and go salmon fishing every day before work. Like I mean, we put in some time <laughs> in the summer. Yeah. Um but we have more than enough fish to to go around for our entire family. It feels really great to be able to share that kind of thing. And that's everybody. sort of a, a similarity to cannabis as well. Growing your own plants, which Mary does. Absolutely. You mm-hmm. know, you create your own bounty. And there is a holistic feeling, I, you know, when you make your own food or for that matter, you know, make a child yeah. or anything else. Yep. Right. Uh, yeah. There's a oneness. There's a connection there yeah. that I think fishing definitely or hunting or whatever uh, allows you to feel. Yeah. And that's important, especially in this day and age of technology, being able to go out, sit under the sun, get on a river, hear the, the babbling brook and the wind through the trees while you connect with nature through this technology known as a rod and a reel and tackle and such. It really is a beautiful synergy uh, between man and beast, yeah, so absolutely. to speak. I like absolutely. that. All right. Well, Nick, now it's time for you to play Know Your Slang. All right. Oh. Yo, peeps, it's about to get lit. Hello, fellow teenager. I might be worse, I guess. It's time to ask if you know your slang. Oh, right. this is going to be crunk. <laughs> Here we go, brother. Do you know your slang, Nick? I hope so. <laughs> Number one. This is a term that's used for a person who says or does something to get a compliment from someone. Fishing. Correct. Oh, hey. look at that. I'm on a roll. Let's My go. dude, he's Good four theme. for four. Yeah, Shit, Wes. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Number two. This term is used to intentionally make a person angry by saying or doing things that will annoy them. Irritate. Oh. The thing you don't like fishing with. Snag. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the term is <laughs> baiting. Baiting. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, number three. This is the term used to describe what a bearded Lorax does when a female bearded Lorax attempts to run away from him to safety before the spring mating season. I don't know. No, Mary, it's not that. (laughs) Hooking, no, that's what Mary does in her part-time job. I don't know. Uh, I miss the fishing questions, but I get the Siberia ones. I mean, what is this? (laughs) Wrong answer. (laughs) The answer is tackle. Tackle. (laughs) Tackle. Tackle. Get it, Mary? Get it? Got it. it. Yes. You got to tackle the uh, female bearded Laura. Okay. Just it's trying consensual. to have some, <laughs> Well, that's how. That's, have you ever seen a duck during mating season? Like oh five male ducks will tackle the female duck and basically rape it, drown her. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. hold yeah. her head underwater. It's not cool. Well, that's yeah. what bearded loraxes do, and it's acceptable. Well, it's <sighs> it's their way. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Some <laughs> people like to be choked. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then or he catches or... <laughs> and then he catches a fish with his teeth and that's how he eats bro. <laughs> 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 the circle hey nick where can we find you on social media as well as smokies um you can find smokies um on at the at official smokies on instagram um i believe everybody else is just going to be smokies on facebook and, and stuff that's like with that. a z yes with a z and your Ooh. personal uh my personal is organic saba and then the high class tackle co is going to be Instagram for the tech nice. company. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on the Leaf Live podcast. Fun Absolutely. one here, bro. Thank yeah. you very much. You. Appreciate you, you guys. You did great. Thank you. You're very Woo. smart. Oh. And you're cute, too. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now I, I don't feel like I'm fishing for compliments. No, you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Download this and all Leaf Live episodes at leafmagazines.com. You can listen to all Leaf Live podcast shows on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, anywhere you get podcasts. And if you want to go to YouTube, just look up Leaf Live Podcast V2. Now here comes another episode of Stony Bloody, which is also available at leafmagazine.com. Leaf Magazine at leafmagazines.com. And please be kind to animals and female bearded Loraxes and ducks. Your hosts for Leaf Life are Mike Rigger and Wes Abney. Leaf Life is produced by Mike Daly. Some of the music heard is provided by purple-planet.com. Every bit of cannabis you use is female, so please respect the ladies. Leaf Life is brought to you by Leaf Nation, featuring Alaska Leaf, Oregon Leaf, Northwest Leaf, Northeast Leaf, Maryland Leaf, and California Leaf. On the shelf now in your local retailer. Please stay tuned now for this week's edition of Stony Baloney by Mike Ricker. by Mike Ricker. I miss Guitar Hero. Let's face reality. The world is a much less rocking place now that a landfill somewhere is stacked with obsolete guitar controllers. It's kind of sad that gone are the days when all you had to do was turn on the television, throw a strap around the neck, and instantaneously morph into an imaginary rock god. With the back flip of the head, an involuntary scrunch of the face, and one long high-pitched lick on the plastic fretboard, there was no denying that you were meant to headline MSG. That's Madison Square Gardens. (laughs) not monosodium glutamate. My tummy just rumbled. Just think of how much greater the pandemic could have been if we were still heroic guitar smiths. Sure, a few fences were repaired and thousands of poorly written autobiographies begun, but all at the brutal cost of what could have potentially developed into a new pool of six-string leviathans. You see, instead of developing the rhythmic cadences that become the stepping stones for the next generation's stairway to heaven, these future proud boys are instead spraying attacking aliens with automatic rifles and flamethrowers while they could be ripping licks. God knows more teenagers need the invaluable knowledge of how to charbroil a burger. Something is missing. And it's the living room stardom that has abandoned us thanks to the plug being pulled on the proverbial amp. And Rock is now officially dead. Because with no practice acts to make the fingers skillfully nimble, the only fire under their asses to go seek their rightful heir to the holy Rock stardom throne will be from the match that singes their dingleberries from lighting their own farts. Guitar Hero was the initiation into potential immortality, learning music by Braille, one imperative note at a time. You could be anyone, Eddie Van Halen, Jimmy Page, Slash. It was so much more than just a video game, but a position on the sacred stage. And I miss it. So I smoke cannabis to quell my sadness. Hey, that sounds like a lyric. Some of the war.
wardrobe, including Ricker or Wes's sick lids, provided by Grassroots California. Check out the dopeness at grassrootscalifornia.com. These products have intoxicating effects and may be habit-forming. Marijuana can impair concentration, coordination, and judgment. Do not operate a vehicle or machinery under the influence of this drug. There may be health risks associated with consumption of this product. For use by adults 21 and older, keep out of the reach of children.